I remember sitting there in an interview and them asking me like about my background. And I, I told my story. I said, fitness has changed my life. I've lost a bunch of weight. And they're like, all right, like, so when can you start? And I was like, well, there's one other thing. I'm like, I'm a convicted felon and I was in jail. And that's where I started exercising. And it was like the, the look on my, my manager's face. I mean, it was just priceless. And I just said, listen, I'll do whatever it takes. I was like, I swear I will, you know, not disappoint you. I'll pee in a cup every day. I'll do whatever it takes to get this job. And so after them reviewing my court documents and talking to HR, I was hired. I was given that chance to pay it forward and train other people. And I, I'm forever grateful for that opportunity that the, the wellness center, the Maryland Athletic Club, it was called, gave me. And I, it became a new high for me, Scott, helping other people set and achieve their goals through fitness and being able to relate to them on a deeper level. Because a lot of the emotional and mental pain that people have when trying to uh, reach their fitness goals, I had had. I'd been depressed. I'd been uncomfortable with who I was. I had tried to fit in. I used food to numb my pain. I turned to drugs. I'd done all these things. So I could relate to them at a different level that a lot of other trainers who hadn't been in my shoes could. Mm -hmm.